Well, hello and welcome. Well, this is Nate, and I've got uh, a value craft for you. Now, this is going to be the value line of the Ritz Craft Homes. So that tells you already that uh, it's going to be a good one that's built by Ritz Craft. This is called the Juniper. It is a 1,475 square foot home. Comes in with three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Got this really nice looking front end right here. And as you can tell, we are at the uh, 2024 Louisville Home Show. This one has the electric fireplace in it. You've got the shower, multiple shower options in the uh, primary bathroom. Now there's no tub option with this one, but there is lots of different shower options. So just wanted to quickly show you, you got your sliding glass door over here, water faucet there, electrical outlet right there. And they got a ton of homes here. So we'll be looking forward to having a lot of homes for you. We got a bunch more down at that end. So let's uh, head on in. So as we step into the home, we're greeted with a coat closet. Can a different style coat closet. Usually you just got the single door, not the double door. And we've got the built-in fireplace. Nice wide shelf to set like your speakers on or your receiver or other things like that. And we'll step over to the, kit, or the dining room area here. There's your sliding glass door off your dining room. You got this nice little accent wall. And you got a coffee bar, which is perfect spot right next to the fridge. Kind of a unique backsplash I got going quite a ways up the wall there. Got two overhead lights. Out of our Michigan facility. Yes, sir. And in this home, they went with the black Whirlpool appliance package. Of course, you do have options for uh, appliances. You can get stainless steel. Looks like they went with the gas stove. So we got this really nice size island. We 
a cabinet on the end of the island here. They got their backpacks in the bottom there. Got our drawers over by the stove. Different backsplash over the stove and the kitchen sink versus what was over the coffee bar. Size corner walk in pantry. And we'll head down to the bedrooms at this end. So they went with the single piece shower tub combo. Transom window above it. You do have crown molding all throughout the entire home. Both your bedrooms are gonna be on the front side of the home. Large walk-in closets, nice to see. And we have a, a uh, linen cabinet. Of course, they got lots of drinks in here. <laughs> Rusty Rail Brewing. That sounds more like an alcohol. <laughs> I don't think those are for the regular. Her. Here's some of the options you have with your Value Craft line. So, and these are part of Ritz Craft. more options for your flooring and your tiling and things like that. Different colors of roof shingles you can get. So you have the large walk-in closet. And directly across from this bedroom is the utility room. And in our utility room, you can see how your washer and dryer are going to be laid out. It's nice to see if they included that in the show model, so it gives you a better picture of what it's going to look. Got cabinets above. There is your breaker panel. They've got a little spot where you can hang your keys, your coats, things like that when you come in. We've got a sink, got the window above the sink, and then we have an actual utility closet with our water heater and our furnace, and they've got sheetrock on the inside to help cut down with the noise. So we will head down to the primary bedroom. As we head into the primary bedroom, you can see you've got plenty of room on each side of your bed for your beds or for your nightstands.
And now as we come into the bathroom, you can see they went with the new updated style of LED lit mirrors. Now low rated, because I'm fading out on you. <laughs> this is actually the first one I've filmed today. So I can't be fading out yet. <laughs> This is the start of the show. I was here yesterday filming. And it's going to be a little bit tougher to film today. A lot of interruptions. <laughs> so this is the upgraded shower that they've got in here. This For this version, there are some other options available. This isn't even the top of the line. So uh, if you are interested in the home, make sure you check out the options available for the shower. We've got a linen storage area inside the water closet. This is a nice size water closet. And I didn't even notice this corner shelf when I did my walkthrough. And then we'll finish up with the closet. And there is a door option available. They just didn't put it in this model, but it is available. And what I'd like to see y'all make yourself available and head down into that comment section. Let me know what you think of this home, the Juniper, which is 1,475 square feet. And while you're there, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And I will see you soon with some price information. Thanks for watching. That was the Juniper. So this was a value craft from Ridgecraft. Now, as I saw it kind of mentioned there a little bit, they do uh, make their own beer. <laughs> they got their own brewery. I think they have two different ones, I think is what they told me. And as Chance pointed out, I didn't show the truck, but they have their own trucking line for bringing their own homes out too. So they do a lot of in-house stuff, which is why that you see Ritzcraft Homes usually has a little bit better price than a lot of other companies have because so much of it is done in-house. You're not paying somebody else to do it. The value line, the cabinets are a little bit on the cheaper side than what you see in some of your other end homes. I do believe he said there was an option for drawers over doors, so you can get an upgraded cabinet for these homes. Obviously, you gotta pay more. The shower, you can go all the way up to a tile shower in these homes. About the only thing you can't do is change it to sheetrock. So it's not hard to get the sheetrock look. I've seen it done friend of mine had a board and bat home that he bought and all he did is pull the strips down caulk in the the seams and then taped and mudded them and then he went back and sprayed them with a texture you can't tell the difference <laughs> so it's a little bit of work so you can get yourself into the home to start with and then down the road you can start making it look like it's been taped and textured and nobody will know the difference. So I just kind of wanted to put that out there. Now we got to get you some price information for this home. So this is, like I said, the Juniper. It's part of their value line. Now this one starts around $140,000. As shown, he said this one would probably retail for about one hundred and fifty. dollars Now mind you, these are estimated retail prices. We can't account for everything. So you got to keep that in mind. So up here in uh, Louisville, they say that this would be about 140 to 150,000. You know, if you take this all the way down to Texas, it may be more like 145 to 155 because you got more freight. So, you know, it just depends on where it's going to go as to what the price is going to be. So I hope you all enjoyed the home. I still got a lot more from the uh, Louisville home show to come up. But look Friday for one from the Biloxi Home Show. Be the first of roughly 50 that they're going to have there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have time to film all 50 of them. And then I got a couple other places, like I'm headed to Florida while I'm there. So you'll have a wide variety of homes coming. Plus, I'm going to Minnesota a week after I get back from Biloxi Show. So stay tuned, because you may find one from your home state. So don't forget to check out either of these two videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.